uh, yesterday afternoon, uh, the fire chief uh, that lives next door um, called Janice and said your barn's on fire. And um, it appeared to be an electrical fire. Uh, nothing anyone has done wrong. It's just something that happened. Um, we have lost all of our warm-blooded exotic animals that live inside the building that's behind us. Um, and uh, we did manage to save some reptiles, snakes, um, you know, a few iguanas. Uh, we've got a couple of iguanas at the vet for emergency care right now. Uh, vet just called. Um, actually, they're doing good. And so uh, we're going to hold on to the good things. Um, we have suffered major losses. Uh, we've lost our lemurs, which everybody that's ever been to cockerels is very attached to them. Uh, great little creatures that we can hand feed. Um, we've lost our prairie dogs. We've lost our chinchillas and our hedgehogs and, you know, things that were loved dear by everyone that comes to cockerels. And so um, we appreciate everybody's support in this. Um, you know, the barn, we can build back. You know, uh, we can't replace what we've lost, but we can build back, you know, what we had before and, and hopefully make it even better. So how many animals are we talking about? Total, I would say we probably lost 40 to 50. Um, and we've saved uh, a few snakes and a few reptiles. Uh, the vet said because they could hold their breath longer that they didn't. And all of our animals that we did lose, most of them were lost due to smoke inhalation. I mean, this is overwhelming. Um, the community loves us. This is a community response. Um, we've lost a great amount of animals that were not only loved, but there's a large financial side to this. I mean, insurance will replace wood and sticks and buildings, but it won't replace what we've lost on animals. I mean, you know, we'll get there, we're going there, but it's going to be one foot in front of the other until we can get there, and our community is what we're going to have to fall back on. We're still going to open up. We're still going to be here and hosting birthday parties and little kids, but we just won't have the exotic animal building. You know, we, we can't go away. We gotta keep going. And we appreciate the, the, all the people that are supporting us right now. And anybody that's ever walked in the door has been greeted by uh, a cockatoo named Sweetie. And a lot of people have mentioned on social media that, oh no, Sweetie, and I've had people send me pictures of them with Sweetie and some of the other animals. So come out one time, take a picture with the, with the animals and you feel like you're part of the family as well. We're still planning on opening for business in March and have plenty of animals to, to love out here. On behalf of Janice Griffin, um, she's asked me to speak on her behalf. Um, she appreciates all the love and support, every comment that she's read, every text, every phone call, every email that she's received has touched her so deeply. Um, the fact that she has meant that much to your families, your friends, your children. She, she's here. Um, she's just unable to speak with us today. Um, and we really appreciate the community's outpouring of support. She is reading every text, every email, and every message on Facebook. I promise you, even if she doesn't respond, she's got them. She's reading them. And she appreciates you guys.